But what I don't believe you do is you go back and you change time. Because if you did it, no one would know you did it, would they? Because the it would have we would only be aware of what actually happened after you did it. Right. So from our perspective, it would be as it was. Now, I know quite a lot of people have this, I can't remember what it's called. There's this sort of phenomenon where they believe that there's sort of multiple streams or there's things that yeah happen now. I heard it. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm not, I don't know about that, having not had any experience of that. They seem to think that they have knowledge of something that happened but no one else does and that could be a fact of that they observed something or possibly changed something but we wouldn't know would we because we would have just always had that timeline so if a timeline was changed only the person who changed it would know it was changed because it's right. changed and therefore we live from that changed timeline now i'm not i'm not sure of that one way or another it might be possible i've never done it that i'm aware of but i have gone back into time done something and i've always been used to affect that so history hasn't changed it's always been that way i'm just aware that i was involved in history from the now perspective i mean i yeah. guess not to cause a i guess I don't know what you'd call it, but to, to disturb people over it, I've never been in the past and someone's taking my photo or anything like that where I was then seen in the past. Because mm -hmm. um, that could obviously create for some people a lot of issues around, around <laughs> well, you know, you're, you're someone from the present and you are seen in the past. God doesn't want to draw attention to these sorts of things because i think that would then maybe create an, a curiosity or an interest which might not be healthy and then people might tr be trying to do something um which is out of their own desire to do something mm -hmm. rather than being available to outwork god's desire for something that makes sense yes no. yeah um so yeah there are that type of thing you know, and there have been occasions where I have trans relocated from one place to another um, mm -hmm. instantly without without really feeling anything, but being in one place and then being in another place instantly. It wasn't that I particularly even chose to do it um, when it first happened, but then there was an occasion where I needed to choose to do it. because I was running late for a train and i was 10 miles away and i needed to be there in two minutes so then i was there and it was a weird it was like i was just there there was no sensation right. of travel there was no sensation of anything other than i'm here you know and i was here with somebody else that needed to catch the train so it's an interesting um Phenomena. Now, some people talk about trans relocation from going through portals and feeling the physical travel through a portal. That's never really happened to me in that way. Mm -hmm. um, I have gone through portals, but that's mostly in the spirit. Mm -hmm. And I've traveled spiritually through portals rather than physically. Mm -hmm. uh, whether I have gone through a portal and just come out the other side and been unaware of it, I don't know. I mean, you know, I guess that would be quantum tunneling in that you would go into the, the spiritual realm or the quantum realm and come out somewhere else. And it would be pretty much instantaneous because there's no distance in quantum entanglement. Um, so, you know, that would be an instant effect, um, pretty much. Um, now, that's scientifically possible because that's what electrons do when they appear on the other side of a lead screen which is impossible for them to travel through so they couldn't have traveled through it so they must have gone somewhere and come out on the other side of it instantly pretty much you know so i think there's lots of different variations of time space travel minus things 
What I don't believe is, is that there is a fixed future that already exists. Mm -hmm. Because if that was the case, then none of us would have choice. Because it's it, happened yeah, the it way is. it's going to happen. I believe people who think they've seen the future are seeing what God intends for the future. Or God is showing them a version of the future that they can be involved in creating. But I don't believe it already exists. Otherwise, we would just be robots following a fixed fatalistic way of looking at life. And I don't I believe the God has desires for the future and there are multiple timelines that could exist to bring the, about those desires that we choose to get involved with or not. Mm -hmm. um, and if we choose to get involved with them, then we can be cooperating with God in creating that future by choosing that realities or whatever choices we make to align with God's desire for the future can bring it about. But we're involved in it and we're actively involved in it and i think we can we have choice in it and we have get the choice of how we are at working that desire it isn't a set of instructions that we have to follow it's a desire and intention that we cooperate with to bring about and we cooperate with it in our own way uh, now i know other people have different views of the time they they're adamant that they have gone into the future and seen it I'm not convinced that that's the truth. I believe what they've seen is what the father is showing. They could have had a vision of the future that God showed them to inspire them to be participating in that. Mm -hmm. I don't believe the future exists yet. Now, it's difficult when you think of the eternal now because you you can think of, well, it must be all now. So the future must already exist. It's just all now. And there's that's one way of looking at it. But. I think God has placed a limitation on the now to be in the moment for that moment to be chosen. And then that becomes the past. So each moment creates the past, but the future doesn't exist until, well, we choose the moment and then, mm -hmm. then it's the past. So it, it's like it's there. We're on the verge of every moment that then becomes history. Right. we've chosen in that moment something which then becomes history it's not that the future existed and i then chose the future i choose the moment which actually is an outworking of god's desire that will become history because if you think about the future we don't see the future we only see the present and the past and every microsecond that passes is now history mm -hmm. we lived it in the moment we never lived it in the future we might have thought about what the future choice could be but as soon as we choose that timeline then it collapses into the reality and is past immediately mm -hmm. if you enjoy these videos would you please take a moment to like comment and subscribe it really does help thank you very much